Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now in this video, we're going to learn to use the materials window from our default tree. So you'll find the materials window in your default tree. Now if your default tree is not shown, you can go to windows default tree and click on show tree. Mine is shown here. So this is our materials window and here you have the actual materials. So if you click on the home button, you can see that these are the various materials and these materials actually belong to Sumele. So this is her materials. So by clicking the home button, it simply shows you the various materials that are part of your scene. And in this case, we have Sumele's materials, which are part of our scene. Now SketchUp comes preloaded with a set of materials. So if I click on the drop down box here, it comes with various kinds of materials for various categories. Let's go to colors first. So click on colors. And now if I select any color, it changes to this bucket tool, which is B on your keyboard, the shortcut for paint bucket. And now you can start painting in stuff in SketchUp. So I can use random colors and then paint in some abstract art. So I would suggest that you guys also try out and create something cool on SketchUp. Just some 2D for now. We're going to create 3D later. And we also have some other materials which you can check out. We have the glass material and then we have metal, landscape and so on. I personally do not use the SketchUp materials window a lot because I'm a V-Ray user and I create V-Ray materials instead. But this is a great base for you to start. And if you're only showing 2D views and elevations to your client, then this would definitely help you out in designing your space. All right, so we have various materials. I'm just going to finally just fill this up. You also have wood. If you want to show some wood in your scene. And we also have some roofing materials as well. Now, these are great to export SketchUp images, like I mentioned before. But if you're a V-Ray user, there's a different workflow to materials. And I'm going to show you that in the V-Ray part of the main course. You can also edit the materials if you want. Now, if I click on edit, now this is the material that we're going to edit, which is roofing shingles thing, which is this. You can change the color if you like. You can also match the color on the screen if you like. And you can also reduce the opacity. So you can play around with these options. Now the most important parameter in the material dialog box is the size parameter because I use it in parallel with SketchUp. Now, for example, I want to increase or decrease the scale of this texture. So I need to select this material first. So you go to select and then we have something called the sample paint. So click on sample paint, select this material and then go to edit and change the size here. Now, so let's say I want to make it smaller, so one foot. So it's chained and it changes proportionally. If you don't want to change it proportionally, you can click on the unlock aspect ratio and then change the other side to your wish. But I would suggest that you change it proportionally. Now for the Mac users, the material dialog box would look a little different and I'm going to show it to you in the next video. Finally, if you click on the home button, it redirects to in model, which means these are the various materials that are loaded in your scene. So these are the actual materials that are loaded in your scene. And you can see those by clicking on the home button. And if you want to increase the thumbnail size, if yours is too small, click here, which is details and change it to extra large or large. I'm going to leave it at large. Now let's say there are some materials which you don't use. I'm going to delete some. Maybe delete this. You can see that I'm using the select tool to delete stuff in SketchUp. And then you can click here and click on purge unused. So that will delete any materials which are not part of your scene. So I hope that gives you an idea of materials. We're going to be using it quite a bit in our scenes along with the V-Ray material asset editor as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.